So there's a traffic alert right now to get you up to speed on as I-4 is back up and running after a deadly wrong-way crash involving a minivan and a taxi. And this happened near the Sand Lake Road exit early this morning. That's where News 6 reporter Johnny Fernandez spent the morning. He tells us what caused it. I-4 westbound was closed for more than five hours as troopers try to piece together how the driver of a van ended up driving on the wrong side of I-4. The extent of the damage could be seen for miles after troopers say Fernando Clemente drove this green Honda van into I-4. Troopers say he was driving eastbound in the westbound lanes on I-4 near Sand Lake Road just after 3 this morning. Not long after he got on the highway, troopers say he slammed head-on into this taxi. Both Clemente and Harold Fabre were killed. Received one phone call um, prior to this crash, so we'll be trying to determine if he made a U-turn somewhere or if he actually came on the ramp the wrong way. Troopers say they found a bottle of Hennessy inside the van and are now trying to figure out if Clemente may have been drunk. You obviously want to go out and have a good time. This is the number one reason why you don't get behind the wheel if you're drinking. Troopers say they are waiting on toxicology reports on that van's driver. Those results could come back in a couple of weeks. In Orlando, Johnny Fernandez, News 6.